Welcome to the TCI scavenger hunt. For this video, we're going to explore a little bit of your TCI online resources. TCI is the textbook that you were given at the beginning of the year, but it is also something that's available to have online resources and online assignments, even online assessments that we will be using for various things throughout the year. So let's go ahead and get started and look at what we need to do. First thing we need to do is to open up Clever. Clever is your one-stop shop for a lot of the district apps. And underneath Clever, you should see a little icon like this, TCI purple, and you click on that to open up TCI. TCI is going to look something like this. We have a lot of different content available on the side of TCI. So let's take a look at what that is. Now, as you're scrolling through this, you might find, oh, well, I need to answer these questions, but what were the questions? I need to go back to the TCI scavenger hunt, but that's in a different tab. So learning how to split tabs or to open up more than one window at the same time is a good skill. Let's try that now. So here I have my window, which has the TCI scavenger hunt on it, and I'm going to start filling it out, but I want to have TCI open that I can see at the same time. So I'm going to make sure that the edge of my window is something smaller than the edge of my screen. I can make it really narrow or really wide. If you click um, one of the icons in the upper top side of your, your screen, whether you're on Chrome or a different browser, but you can make it full screen or less than a screen. You want it to be less than a screen and then you can change the size of it, make it smaller. And then if you have another tab open that has TCI in it, you just click that tab and drag it off to the side and it becomes a separate uh, separate window. And if that one, it, window is still too big, you change the size of that one until it's the right size that you want. That's how to make a split screen. For the purple bar on the left hand side, you want to click on the icon that's the arrow. And you may have to expand that sidebar. So if I click this, I see that it expands and contracts, gets bigger and smaller, and which shows where all of these options are on the side. You may want to make it bigger when you're reading something and then, uh, then smaller when you're trying to access some of the, the details. All right, so right now I want you to find assignments. And just go down, it should be the second or third uh, link on the bottom and it's got a little green dot. And I'm gonna click on that and open it up. And it will show me whatever assignments are there for me. Click on grades, that's the next one down. See, what do, you, what do you see when you click on grades? Now click down further, further, further down to the bottom, almost to the bottom, click on lesson games. So click on lesson games. And I want you to identify, try changing the lesson to lesson seven. In this case, it looks like it's already lesson seven, but I can change it to somewhere in lesson two. I can change it to lesson 18. Um, so change it back to lesson seven. We're practicing the tools, practicing how to get around. Next, I want you to see if you have any assessments. Assessments are down here at the very bottom. This is assessment. This is like a test or a quiz. This is different than assignments, which were up toward the top. Assessments at the bottom, assignments at the top. So click on assessments, see if you have any assessments assigned. Now click on text with notes from the sidebar. Click text with notes. And we see we have, I'll open this up a bit. We have all of our text here. This is the same words that are in your textbook. You can read and pretty much page by page, they all match up. So I want you to look at the tools that you have that you can use with the text. These are the tools right here. These tools at the top, right above the title where it says water and weather. These are tools. You have select reading level. So if you want to have a little less challenging or more challenging reading level, you can choose between the reading level A or B. If you want the text to be read to you, you can click play. If you want the, the language for the text to be written in Spanish, in Espanol, you can click the ES. If you want it to highlight the main ideas in the paragraphs, you can click on this. Now, not every page has main ideas, but if there are main ideas, it will highlight them for you. This is show highlights. This is something where you can highlight parts of the page. 
And this is where you can add notes to the page. Here is you can save the text to your Google Drive if you need to work on it separately from the TCI module. And if you want to print it out, you can print it out with this. These are the tools that you have available to you. Now try changing the lesson number and section number. Sometimes when kids go back to working on an assignment, they forget to change the lesson number and they're reading in the completely wrong chapter of the book. So try changing the lesson number to, let's go with chapter 16, lesson 16. All right, and then we can change the section number. Maybe we already read section introduction, but now we want to move to section two. So watch how you can change this section more than one way. There's also another way of doing this. You can also, if you just want to move to the next section or the previous section, you can click next section. And at the bottom of the text, after you finish reading, so you don't have to go back up to the top, you can click next section down at the bottom. So there's multiple ways to get to that. Practice using the highlighter tool. You'll notice that even if you scroll down the page, the highlighter tool and the notes tool will stay right at the top of whatever your window is. So I'm gonna click this highlighter tool and I want to highlight, I think this is a really important question. So I'm gonna highlight that in green, that which processes require gravity? I think that was important. So I'm gonna highlight that. That won't show up for your teacher, that will just show up for you, which is a good way for you to interact with the text and keep track of important parts of it for your own learning. Next part, practice making notes about the text. All right, so which process require gravity? I'm going to try and put a note here. So uh, teachers can't add notes, but students can add notes. So maybe you want to make a note about what you think, which process actually requires gravity. You can make a note right next to it. And then tell me what, what color you use to highlight your text. Now we're going to explore the reference section. Reference is down here at the bottom. And on the right hand side, you can see there's a little triangle. And if you click on that triangle, you'll see it expands and it shows all the other options you have in the reference category. So I want you to identify five different topics that are in your category. You may have different categories than I do because I have a teacher version, but you have at least five categories. Go ahead and list those down. Also in the reference section, I want you to click on my notes. Do you see my notes right here? Click on my notes and it will show you, ah, right there. It's showing what you've highlighted and it's gonna show you what notes you have. So hopefully if you did the previous questions right, you'll have the notes and the highlights for what you wanted to, to make sure you remembered for later. And then finally on reference, go ahead and click on glossary. Glossary is right under notes, click my glossary. And I want you to tell me what is the first topic under the letter L. So up here across the top, we have the letters. And if you click on each letter, it will take you to the words from that section of the alphabet. Moving down, click on career profiles. And it's gonna show you a list of careers that you could have, jobs you could have in sciences and engineering. Uh, click on a few of those and explore them. See what you would like to do. And then just above the reference, we're gonna collapse the reference for now. You'll see there is a tab for vocabulary cards. Click on the vocabulary cards and make sure that your lesson is set for lesson seven. And I want you to tell me what is the second vocabulary card for lesson seven. So as we look at our vocabulary cards, and I'm going to close this up here, the first vocabulary card in this particular set is dew point. So if I click flip card, I can practice what the dew point means. I can flip it over, I can test myself back and forth. And then if you switch to next card, it'll tell you what the second card is. I'll let you do that. If you wanna see the vocabulary cards in Spanish, you can click on Spanish and you can see the words in Spanish, which would be helpful to our Spanish speakers.